It looks like a classic French chateau, but this home is thoroughly modern and one of the largest single-family homes in Virginia. Hi, I'm Scott Morgan. Welcome to Dream Builders. From the framing to the roof, an architect of embassies built his own home with state-of-the-art construction features. We'll take a look in a moment. Later in the show, a retreat in Puerto Rico where the sun, wind, and rain are welcome, and a group of students who are building homes and their careers at the same time. But we'll begin here in Clifton, Virginia, with this magnificent mansion. At a time when most empty nesters are downsizing, architect Ron Hubbard and his wife Cheryl have taken four years to build a house they could never outgrow. When our daughters went off to college, he decided that this really was going to happen. And so he had uh, some people help him. He drew up the plans and took it to an architectural firm, and they did all of the blueprints. And um, it started happening, and I was overwhelmed. And I'm still overwhelmed. Ron designs and builds U.S. embassies overseas. When the time came to build his own fortress, he created a chateau fit for royalty with the efficiency of modern building materials. The plans for the house kind of grew out of um, these ideas I had about uh, maximizing the spans and building rooms bigger, uh, more spacious. He integrated that idea with his love of European architecture. Ron, you'd never know you were in the Virginia countryside here. Where did you get your taste for the French chateau? Scott, Cheryl and I lived in Europe for four years and we did a lot of traveling in France and Germany and I really wanted something that would last forever. The Germans and French call it eternal construction so their things will be here 100 or 200 years from now and, and that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted people to get the visualization of my design 100 or 200 years from now. To make his home last for centuries, Ron turned to the unconventional. Though even a close inspection wouldn't reveal it, Every inch of this 27,000 square foot mansion is framed with modified polystyrene panels, reinforced by steel. I was looking for a sandwich panel of some sort, uh, a panel with steel, something that would last forever, that wouldn't rot, rust. He found them through Jerry Cauliflower, whose company makes the panels. It's modular in design, it's lightweight. It comes with window and door openings pre-molded which makes for a very rapid construction. Uh, one person can lift a whole panel and put it into the track and run right down the wall with it. Energy efficiency was also a top priority in the design of this home. The steel does not pass through the wall, so we have a thermal break between the interior frame and the exterior frame. That barrier provides seven and a half inches of solid insulation. Combine that with concrete floors on each of the four levels and radiant heating throughout, and this old-style home gives new meaning to cost-effective heating. This house is probably as energy efficient as is possible. The garage floors are heated, the swimming pool is heated with radiant, and the radiant, uh, the radiant is the end product of a geothermal system. I have 10,000 feet of geothermal pipe buried in the in three large geothermal fields. Traditional French architecture is also reflected in the mansard roof, but the material is a new twist on an old concept. What appear to be slate shingles are actually made of recycled tires. The roof was a research project that I did to try to come up with something that was identical to slate, that didn't have the weight, that wasn't as, as uh, costly to purchase, um, and it didn't take as long to, to install and lasted longer. Ron, it feels like I'm seeing double. Is this house symmetrical? Scott, it's symmetrical in just about every respect. It was designed that way. Um, the, uh, as you can tell, there's a four-car garage on one side and a four-car garage on the other. The swimming pool and the art gallery tie those rooms into the main house. When it came to the finishing touches inside, great attention was paid to detail. All the woodwork is solid oak and the marble bases for the 13 fireplaces come from Italy. I'm kind of a romantic. This ceramic molding was made by hand. It's like nailing a hole through an egg shell. Uh, as soon as the nail would go in, it would just crumble. But we finally did get it up, and then afterwards we were like, oh, we're so glad we did it. With 16 bedrooms and 18 bathrooms, some might ask what the Hubbards will do with all that space. My wife and I, uh, we're very comfortable with what we have on this floor. 
So whether the third floor, if my um, younger or older daughter decides that their family is going to move in here, uh, that's 4,400 square feet. For now, Cheryl and Ron are happy to come home to each other in a house they once only imagined. If you wait till you can afford to build your dream house, it's not going to happen. And so I'm really happy that Ron pushed me and wanted to do this because, I mean, this really is a dream come true.